Because it was the 18th of January, it was just before the NTAs, yeah. and I remember you were coming in talking about, you yeah, know, Corey Lucy. being up, that's right. Um, and literally five minutes after the interview, yeah. the comments started coming in, yeah. and, and some of them were of concern, some of them were very accusationary. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so what, how did you feel about that? Uh, exposed, more mm. than anything, because I've had this, it's been nearly ten years that I've been aware of it now, so I've been, my solution to it was to hide and manage. Yeah. Um, because of the job that I'm in, um, it could really have a detrimental effect on my ability to get cast. Right. Okay. So it was something that I tried to keep a lid on. But yeah. then once it was exposed live on TV, I thought, well, first I was incredibly embarrassed, incredibly embarrassed, oh. and then angry. And then I started getting lots of messages off people on Twitter saying, me too. Mm. Me too. Right, OK. So I thought, well, there's been an unnecessary spotlight that's been thrown on me here, and instead of just leaving it and letting it pass me by, what I can do is instead is redirect it onto yeah. something well, useful. Yeah. And it's your decision to come back today. You wanted to come back today. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for having me. Oh, no, 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 not, not at all. The Daily Mail said, has he been on the energy drinks? The Daily Star Because you'd said. just done a segment on energy <laughs> drinks, hadn't yeah, you? That's yeah. why, yeah. Too many Red Bulls, said the Daily Star. Um, but nobody phoned you up to ask No. I've got two points of contact. I've got an agent and there's a press officer at Coronation Street. It, there was no, you know, just a quick one. Is there a reason that your client's shaking? Is there anything that we need to know about before we write this? Because it is a disease. It's a neurological disease. It's in the same family as Parkinson's and motor neurons. So it's almost like, would you take the mick out of someone with Parkinson's? It's, mm. it's, but if there's no awareness of it, then you can't expect people to be sensitive to it, can when, you? When did it start? Um, I don't... I didn't have it from birth, but I don't remember not having it. So it was about 14 years old that I first started to notice it, and it was, like most people, it manifests first in the hands, yeah, like that. Um, and then it can spread, so eventually, I sometimes get it in the back of my neck and my head will shake, which is, I think, what your viewers noticed last time, because the quiff was going... Right, I see. ...like that. Um, and then it's a progressive disease. Uh, so by the time I'm 50, it could well be in the voice box, down the back of the spine, the legs, the whole of the arms. It could be quite debilitating. And so how does this affect you on work? Because I think that's what people were surprised about, was that they hadn't noticed it on Coronation Street. Well, when I came into... I almost didn't get the job on Emmerdale, which is the reason I got the job in Coronation Street. Um, I did the audition for Emmerdale, and then my agent ran me up and said, they want to offer you the part, but they thought you were quite nervous. So I had to explain to my agent what this was. She got back in touch with them. There was a bit of deliberation. And then it came back and they said, the part's yours. So there, that almost cut me off mm. before I even started there. I had to explain what it was. On the set, when I came in, because I work in a restaurant, I work in the bistro, so I'm forever having to carry... People are asking for lattes by the time they get it to cappuccino. Oh, God. <laughs> so I said to myself, right, I'm going in there, I'm going to use as many props as I possibly can because there's no point in being afraid of them, because I won't be able to... If I just avoid props, if I avoid touching things, if I avoid actually dealing with it, then it means that by the time I get to maybe being on stage, holding cups and saucers and stuff, it would just absolutely ruin me. Yeah. yeah. So they worked around you and um, they've been oh, they're great with it. Yeah, they're great with it. They, I mean, there's sometimes when they have to do a close-up on me holding a phone, they have to put a tripod out and I have to put my hands on the tripod and then they have to do an extreme close-up on the phone because otherwise it's... It shakes. ..all over the place. And now you've, you sort of know what your own triggers are for making... I mean, it'll never go away, like you said, but there are things that make it worse. Yes, so being on live television, for example, right. can do that. Anyone that's got a... Uh, a normal um, uh, nervous system, when there's a sudden burst of adrenaline that goes into it, you may get a bit yeah. nervous energy. My nervous system is already haywire. Yeah. So when a burst of adrenaline goes into it, it's uncontrollable. I can't mm. do anything about it. All and I can think is just stop shaking. But you can't control it. And caffeine as well. Yes, caffeine can trigger it off because it's got... I think tea's got more caffeine in it than coffee does, actually, as well. So, yeah, anything that's got... Anything that basically triggers an adrenaline rush. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How much do we understand about this, Ranch? What <clears throat> is it? So, tremor is really, really common. As you know, it's <clears throat> perfectly normal, but for some people it's exaggerated. And that could be because it's down to an underlying disorder like Parkinson's or multiple sclerosis. Or for some people it's for no reason whatsoever. And actually, we all know that older person who's slightly shaky. Mm. We think, oh, it's just part of old age. Mm. Um, it doesn't tend to affect younger people. And that's why when younger people experience, people come to all sorts Jumped of different wrong conclusions, conclusions. Mm -hmm. which is really unfair. Because as Rob was saying, it does affect your life. It does 
impact your ability to mm. do a job and it can have a major, major effect on how you feel about yourself. Mm. So we don't understand a great deal about it. Sadly, um, for people who do experience it, it's either going to be the same for their whole life or it may gradually progress as they get older. There are treatment options out there. You either try to work your way around it and work out your own mechanisms or you can try medication, which is purely symptom control. It just helps to calm it down. And for really, really severe cases, there is the option of surgery, mm. but that's obviously reserved for the really, really what bad is the cases. Surgery? What would that look um, like? There's to? certain parts of the brain that help to control and balance movement, and it's uh, operating on those parts. There's a new type of surgery where we use ultrasound to zap that part of the mm. brain as well that's kind of emerging. Yeah. Um, for people who want to look into this sort of thing, and. and tremor being one of the most common neurological movement disorders out there, if not the most common, mm -hmm. um, there is a foundation called the, the National, National tremor, tremor Foundation who uh, have all of this information on their website on their... because people just don't know much about it. Can you I... were nodding then, were you considering that as, a, as an option? So um, I looked into it, yeah, it's, it, it used to be that it was, um, it was, they used to call it a thalmobotomy, it was like, you know, transorbital lobotomies, so they used to tap into this thing, they used to basically burn away the thalamus, which was the bit of the brain that they thought was controlling the shake mm. but it's obviously it's permanent and if you're not sure what you're doing then I don't think you should be rooting around in someone's brain. Mm. And I guess ultimately the thing that we can all take away from this is, is just don't jump to conclusions yeah. really Yeah. because you just don't know what's going on. No you don't but um, I suppose that the conclusions that were jumped to this time have ended up coming full circle and eventually have shed light on something that maybe not a lot of people knew about. Yeah yeah. Well, you feel well, better talking about yeah. it now, yeah. I do actually yeah it's like I've been outed. <laughs> I've been outed so if I am going to be out, I may as well own it.